Iran's Ports and Maritime Organization says there is no information yet on the fate of 32 people on board an oil tanker which collided with a freight ship off a Chinese coast on Friday. What is common in international waters is that when a ship is in trouble, passing ships or the Maritime Rescue Coordination Centers, MRCC, of countries with a coastline uses special vessels and helicopters to save the troubled ship and rescue those on board, even if they have not signed an agreement with the estate owner of that ship. Therefore, rescue efforts were made and all 21 people on board the cargo ship were saved. But unfortunately, we have no information about the fate of those aboard the Iranian oil tanker, namely the 32 people who included two Bangladeshi nationals, eight students and the wife of an officer. Now that I'm talking to you, some vessels have been deployed to the site of the accident and are trying to put out the blaze. Hmm. Liner belonged to a national Iranian tanker company fleet. Iranian sailors and two Bangladeshi crew members are reportedly presumed dead now. Hashanaz has described the shipwreck as unprecedented in decades. It is a tragic accident. Such an incident, as far as I can recall, has not happened to Iranian ships in the past few decades. And we have not seen a cargo ship carrying wheat collide with an oil tanker in open seas. The shipwreck took place at 8 p.m. local time in China. Immediately after the collision, rescue teams started an operation to help or save possible survivors. There is no word yet as to what may have caused this collision between the tanker and the Hong Kong registered freighter, Iranian vessels carrying oil to South Korea.